wouldn't do that if I were you. Why does everyone keep telling me what to do? I mean, why wouldn't they? It's not your fault. I mean, I didn't just see myself becoming a weak and pathetic you. Do you have any idea who you're talking to? Do you? Because I know very well who I was. I made rules. I bent rules. I did whatever my emotions felt to satisfy itself. I controlled the entire Western black market of this so-called country. Nobody made a dime without my permission and nothing went in on out without my permission. So tell me, who the hell are you, Bishop? What happened to you being the ruthless black market boss who never left the stone or turn and the governor of this state? What happened to us? And how does all these things you have said bring back my dead family? My wife? My son? My mom all killed in one day because of this so-called life you preach about. Do you think I care anymore? If you have so much power, why don't you use this power to bring my family back so that I can go back to being you? Bishop, the godfather of Western Nigeria. I, I, I do this, I do that, I make people, I kill people. Do you think I care anymore? You are the coward who couldn't save his own family while saving other people. You slipped. You know the kind of business we are in, yet you are shaking hands with enemies who you so-called friends. What's your problem? Times have changed. The old brutal godfatherism doesn't work anymore. What are you talking about? The game never changes. Everybody wants a piece of the godfather and you know that. But it doesn't really matter anymore. Because now you're just a piece. Just a wasted politician. I'll let you go. You need to think about what you're doing. It was confirmed this morning that the governor of Lagos State has passed away. His death was reported to be suicidal under the influence of hard drugs. Although some reports say that his suicidal death was due to his family's death a day before, some reports also say there is a bigger political propaganda which caused the death of both the governor's family and himself and these deaths might just be the start of a political warfare. The inspector general of police is set to hold a press conference addressing the case in the next one hour.